What's up, a hobby and development? It's Tyler here. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Fenrisian Wolves, a nice, easy way to paint them with contrast paints. Guys, before we get started with the video, I just want to say welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the little bell icon so that you get notified when I produce more delicious content. And uh, if you're not new to the channel, I apologize for the couple month hiatus before uh, I produced this video. I've been quite busy with work and with some other stuff, but that's that's beside the point. Got this wonderful video coming out for you, and we're going to be having a lot more as soon as I get more time to record. Uh, enjoy the video, and here we go. All right, the first coat of contrast is going to be Gorgrunta Fur, and you're going to apply it in this method here, directly out of the pot. If you're not familiar with contrast paints, you just dip and apply one thick coat. I do want to mention you want to make sure to get enough on there, or the surface tension of the contrast paints will pull apart and leave a little bit of white showing. So the method that I'm choosing to paint this is obviously all the fur is going to get the contrast paint and I'm leaving the, the like the feet areas and the face and the ears uh, uncovered and we're going to hit that up later with fire solar flesh. <clears throat> and I'm also leaving a little bit of the belly and the backside done to get that nice transition into the two different colors. It's optional if you want to hit up the, the little fur tufts on the legs you can go ahead and do that. Make sure you get the bottom of the mouth and just to you know, make sure again, uh, a really nice coat of contrast paint going on that model. When we're done with that, this is optional, so I didn't include it in the paint list, but you can take a little bit of wildwood and apply it in uh, some of the different levels of the fur just to give it a little bit more of a, uh, a transition effect, uh, some visual uh, different visual look here and there. Make it more visually interesting. I think that was the term that I was looking for. <clears throat> Wipe off our brush and then we're going to Fire Slayer Flesh. And this is going to go on all the areas that you did not use Gorgrunta Fur on. It's exactly applied in the same way. Then we're going to take that pot of gray sear and we're going to coat the inside of the mouth. Uh, you'll notice I did change models to one that is open. Um, that way you can see the process if the mouth is, is open. And I'll put it in, in the frame here in a second. Apologize for the shaky camera work there. So again, the gray sear inside the mouth. We're going to take Dark Reaper and we're going to coat the nose. Uh, you could make it any color really you want. I just preferred the darker look of the nose being a Dark Reaper. And then I put Dark Reaper on all of the claws that are sticking out.
When we're done with that, I'm going to use a little bit of Teradon Turquoise and put it in the eyes. After this, you could uh, dot the eyes with a little bit of red. I chose not to in this case, but it's totally up to you. Uh, Flesh Terror's red going on the tongue. Also, don't be afraid to get a little bit on the teeth. It'll make it look like, uh, like blood, like the wolf has just attacked something. Of course, the opponent of your army being the optimal target of his attack. And last but not least, we're going to be going in with a little bit of Nuln Oil Gloss. It'll give the teeth a little bit of a darker shade in between the recesses, and it will also uh, appear as if there's saliva inside the mouth, which is why we're using a gloss shade for that. And with this, this uh, fast-to-do model is completely done, and you have yourself a wolf. I appreciate you guys watching. Drop a comment below if you like this video. And uh, again, like, share, subscribe, and... Uh, Enjoy the hobby, guys. I'll see you in the next video.